Welcome, Leo. This is going to be your just mid-December reading. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what is coming through. All these cards want to pop out, but they're not falling out. So let's see. Oh, all right. Two of cups in the reverse. There may be a disconnect here. We have the king of cups energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Doesn't have to be. This one stopped just like that, which is absolutely beautiful. Leo, what is, I love that you're on this path. This is huge, okay? This is very beautiful. Eight of Cups, ah, oh, there may be something that's hard to go in a new direction for some of you guys or walk away from something because it does show a very strong connection here, okay? A very strong connection. And I do see that with the Hierophant, you have, I don't know if you just had a recent awakening or another awakening, but I feel like you were operating from your highest self when you are dealing with the situation. There's a lot of care and a lot of love that shows within your energy, but let's go ahead and see what's going on, okay? Because it does show that you're on this very spiritual path right now. All right, feeling some type of loss, loneliness. All right. To see the emperor in this person's mind, we're going to have to clarify. All right. There is a choice. There is something here. Huh. This is pretty interesting to see the challenge. The challenge is, is rest or there's a need to recharge and rethink and to separate from something to clear, to think clearly. Okay. Because there is some type of challenge with a loss here or feeling left out in the cold or feeling lonely or feeling out of place in some way in your energy. Now, what is coming in? I feel with that hot hair fit. We're going to clarify this too, because something is feeling a bit stuck in the past or slow or getting mixed signals here from something or someone. This person here too, whoever this may be, they're very sad and are recovering, are trying to recover from something. They feel like really deeply in their emotions. Let's get this hair back. Someone here is not seeing something. They're very out of balance within their life. Whoever this may be. I feel for you, you may be feeling a very big distance with somebody here or just a struggle within a family dynamic. Yeah, maybe feeling that somebody is being sneaky or lying or wearing a mask, right? With that seven of swords, there's a bit of deception going on. Page of Wands energy is in the challenge. There's a sense of somebody here feeling very unhappy about their life, but there also can be something where someone gets triggered and acts very immaturely. I feel like you may be over this energy. In the past, it shows that you went very cold on someone here and someone really hurt you with the Nine of Swords. It's like you had to cut them off in some way emotionally. The Queen of Swords was in the reverse. It's cut off energy. Like someone really just turns you cold against them because whatever that may be with the connection that you know maybe just not trusting them or this disconnect something 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 has you cut this person off there may be other energies in in this person's mind maybe some gossip or some things that are going on with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. It's interesting to see the Nine of Wands in the reverse in this person's energy because it's like they're holding on to like some old stories and they, they're not really finishing what they're starting and they're trapped in their own type of mindset, their own boundaries, their own way of thinking. I don't know. It's just spirit is just saying that this is old. Something's old with this person. I 
feels like this person's very sad but not wanting to show it, but they are showing some mixed signals. They are showing it through their energy, but they're not sh saying anything really. Getting very stubborn energy here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Say something's out of balance with that Two of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Other energies may be interfering. Five of Swords. Their sense of defeat. Leo. Beautiful. I love, I feel like you're just like rising above all these freaking challenges lately. For the month of December, even though we're now doing mid-December, you're overcoming something once again. And with that Queen of Wands energy, continue to be that Queen of Wands. Do not let anybody steal your shine, regardless about what other people are doing with their life. I feel that you have a lot of love and care, so you feel the energies. You know, you really genuinely care about your connections and when something doesn't go right, you can feel the shift in it and you react to those emotions. That's natural. And I, I love that about you because it shows that you're very genuine and caring. And remember, you're a lion. You're the strength card, okay? And that's what's coming up, Leo. Now, remember, the strength is having courage like, like you are, okay? And with an operating from a pure heart when dealing with hard situations in your life. So I feel like with this, with another situation that you have to find strength and courage from, you're rising above it, okay? You're no longer self-doubting yourself. You're no longer holding yourself back from limiting beliefs. I feel like you're believing yourself again. And that's what is, I feel for the, is, the, is kind of like, um, how do I say it? What the theme is for the month of December is rising above these challenges, the feelings that you're having. People are going through their own things and maybe out of balance, but that is not going to affect you to a point where you get into that depression or maybe back into the old patterns you used to get to. So I love this energy from you. I'm telling you, there's something that you're on and when you're on the spiritual path and you're seeing through your third eye now, right? You're seeing things, you're seeing synchronicities, you're seeing, I mean, this, this is spirituality. You're, you're thinking like that you've never thought before. You're, you're seeing things that you've never seen, seen things like that before. That's a very powerful place to be. But it's really important when you have these intuitions too. Like I like to say this because we can feel people shifting and we can feel when people are being sneaky and lying. And sometimes we will react to them behaving that way when they are not ready to see that within themselves. So it makes so they don't tell you really that they're feeling like that, even though you know they're feeling like that and feel it. Okay? They're not ready to admit it, so they rather make you look like the crazy one. That's why it's better to just know and believe in your feelings and what you're feeling in your gut um, and then continue down this beautiful path that you're on. Okay, because the Queen of Wands energy is infectious. This is light. You are coming from light. You're coming from love. You're coming. You're energetic, or you will soon become energetic. And it's because you're confident. Okay, you don't care what people think anymore. This is more of that leadership type of energy, and it's powerful. It's infectious, and it's you being confident with yourself through these challenges. So if something is out of balance in the near future. Yes, something may feel like you're feeling unloved in some way, or so you don't feel like you're being, uh, it's not like an equal give and take. There's still unresolved issues. There's still some difficulties uh, surrounding this really deep connection, right? And I, but I feel here, it's like you're releasing these blocks within you and knowing that, you know, there's things that are gonna be out of your control. We can't control other people's feelings or how they feel. And that's why I feel for you, you're focusing on Leo right now. Okay, give yourself that self-love and continue on this beautiful journey. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know what else to say. It does look like someone is, there's a message or some messages coming across to you that kind of puts you on a crossroads, but it's asking you to be strong and continue to rise above. All right, don't get too caught up in the conflict. Now, someone here says, understanding, I see your side of the story, dishonesty. By lying, I ripped this apart. So someone is lying. Someone was being dishonest, was not saying the full truth, wasn't confronting issues. I wish I could right my wrongs, mistakes. I am still trying to heal self-love. Now, I do want to grab some 
confessions because it looks like there has been dishonesty here. So let's see what we can get from these cards. I depend on you too much to let you go. I have codependency issues. That is a huge sign for a lot of you guys. I, I depend on you too much to let you go. I have codependency issues. I'm finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. So there's someone here that just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. You know, let's get one more for I depend on you too much. I push you away because you not want the responsibility. Huh. There are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. Okay, well, you know what? This person is being dishonest with you. It seems like they're not being open and having an open, honest conversation. And if they are doing that, they're not fully telling you everything. Okay, so it's important to listen to your intuition once again, Leo. Time to shed old beliefs. This is your messages here from spirit. The situation goes your way when your attitude changes. And I feel like your attitude is the queen of wands, your energy, male or female, just beautiful energy to carry. Avoid procrastination and face the challenge by being open. And I feel like that's what you are doing. Okay, I do. But also I feel like you're sensing Sorry. Also, I feel like you're sensing somebody's dishonesty. So it's like, I'll be open, but the other person has to be open and honest too. You know? Oh, your message. Let it be. Oh, that came out twice already for um, other readings. Okay. So let it be. If you need to solve a problem, ask yourself, what is the simplest way to proceed? When you call forth the simplest path, it appears and vice versa. Your next message is, oh, you got two. So spirit really wants to speak to you here. Spark of life. Don't sink. Don't sink into hopelessness and despair. For in you lives a spark of life that is undefeated and unbeatable. You can overcome everything your destiny depends upon. No problem. You're not meant to struggle and fight your way through. Drop the concerns of your ego and watch imaginary walls crumble away. You've already won. And as we have this, there is a pinnacle coming in here about an offer that may be conflicting. So again, rise above. You're on the spiritual path you see, right? Let go. Let go of negative people and toxic beliefs. Your time on earth is precious. Invest it wisely and be mindful of who you spend time with. Be mindful of who you spend time with. Leo, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope it helped. I really do. Um, I feel like your theme for December of 2023 is rising above, right? Just rising above these challenges and I feel letting things be. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Again, I will see you guys very soon. God bless.